minute that I wasn't working out every day of my life, um, the problems that I had, they started to magnify. Doing some kind of physical activity um, became short of breath. Uh, if I was at work broadcasting, I started having severe post-nasal drip and taking allergy medicines, nasal pumps. I was trying to, uh, trying to rinse my nose. Uh, I have a steam shower I was living in, trying to just you know, get as much of it out as I could. Uh, watching the spicy things I ate because I felt like it was affecting my voice. Maybe not having caffeine or stuff like that. Just try not to affect my voice. Um, I mean, I thought it was, I was, I was trying just about anything, all kind of um, homeopathic remedies and teas and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, I tried it all. I, I, <laughs> I literally tried it all. Um, I tried a hyperbaric chamber, felt like, you know, let me see if I can get more oxygen by sleeping in one of these things. It, none of it worked. And um, it, it's crazy that it was such a simple procedure to get done to fix something that I struggled with for a long time. Not a lot of time out, uh, not a lot of recovery time. And when I, when I think about how I feel now and, and how I'm uh, capable of breathing, uh, it was it was an easy decision, you know. If I had known about it early, it probably was, and if it was available earlier, it probably was something that that I would have gotten done a long time ago and not suffered through what I'd suffered through. I tell them that balloon sinuplasty is a, it's a must.